What's going on my dudes? Etika from the Etika World Network and before we begin, I want to wish you all a very happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy whatever the fuck else exists at this time. I don't mean to be disrespectful to the other religions, but you know, I figure happy holidays is a much more Eat more efficient way to cover all the bases. Anyway, so I know most of you are probably wondering what's the deal with the videos and such. Well, to start, there were a lot of issues that I had to iron out in the beginning, and I'm not going to I'm not going to pull any punches with you guys. These issues have held up me producing videos for quite a while. You see, I got all my new gear, all my revamp stuff, including the wonderful lights which you are seeing me on right now, and after I got all my gear, I pretty much erased every single barrier that could be in the way of me making videos except for one. Now you guys, if you don't know, I actually have an Alienware M14 XR2 and it's, it's a wonderful gaming laptop. I'm able to do a lot of stuff with it. It renders stuff like a madman. I can usually render full 1080p videos in five minutes or less, but there is one problem with it. Now because it uses up a lot of processing power, it needs a really strong fan to cool it down. So the fan on this thing is actually extremely loud. Now in the reposition that I've done with my room, I've tried to eradicate the fan noise in the videos as much as possible since I do use a shotgun microphone to record my videos. And now, a lot of people are saying just use a separate source of audio, but when I try my lavalier, you can still hear the humming of the fans in the background of the videos. Now, this I don't know if it's a problem or not, but in all the videos that I've had beforehand, you've always heard this humming, and I wanted to remove it for you guys to really make the revamp really revamped, you know? Because at this point, the lights are good, the video's good, only the audio's a little bit lacking on my end, but I wanted to make things really good for you guys. Now, right now, the fans aren't on and off because I'm not using any intensive processes on my computer, but... Right now, I want you guys to hear my computer with the fans on, and this will be the way that usually my videos will be from now on, since there's no way for me to eradicate the sound. I tried putting my laptop on the floor, for God's sakes, and it still didn't work out well for me, because you could still hear the humming of the fans in the audio of me speaking like right now. So... There's pretty much no way to go around it. So right now, what I'm going to do is basically do a really quick test. So right now, let's get into what the audio will sound like when I'm playing games in real time. So, for example, if I'm playing Call of Duty or if I'm playing Attack on Titan in real time and recording at the same time, you're going to hear the hum of the laptop. And this is what it's going to sound like. Right now, what you're hearing is what the audio will be sounding like whenever I play games in real time. This won't be the case for my Wi-Fi battles, which are coming soon, because the Wi-Fi battles don't require me to have my computer processing stuff at the same time that I record. But games like Minecraft, Call of Duty, Attack on Titan will require my computer to process things as I play the game. So you will be hearing this noise in the background. And what I simply want you guys to do is to tell me if you can deal with this or not. I really hope you can because right now I tried everything. I moved this computer to so many positions and it just would not, it, it, the audio would just would not get spilled into by the, the sound of the fans, you know? I feel really bad about it and I, it's really something that I wanted to eradicate, but I guess until I get a bigger room in an apartment or until I get my own place soon, I won't be able to eradicate that laptop noise in the video. So I do apologize, but this will be the noise that you guys have to deal with. So let me know in the comments below if you can deal with this or not. And if you can deal, then we can get this revamp started, baby. But um, now there's some other stuff that I have to talk to you guys about. So let's get into that. It is truly the holiday season when we can actually bring our Pokemon from 5th gen back into 6th well, into sixth gen. And the thing about this is that Pokemon Bank was released yesterday, and while it is a momentous occasion because this basically means that we can bring old Pokemon back in, this is also somewhat of a somewhat of a questionable thing because it has been confirmed that hacked Pokemon can be brought back into the game. So that means that everyone's Pokegen Pokemon will be able to go into X and Y, which basically means that the metagame is going to have a whole lot of powerhouses who still have great moves, great IVs, great EVs into the game, like Terrakions, which are totally Pokegen, can go into the game. Now, if this was the other way around, where Pokegen Pokemon wouldn't be able to come into the game, there would be a massive decline of Pokemon that are used from 5th gen into 6th gen because they wouldn't be able to be transferred. So the only Pokemon that could be transferred would be legit ones. And we all know that legit Pokemon are very difficult to get the right moves on, to get the right natures on, to get the right IVs on, especially when considering legendary Pokemon that are going to be transferred from 5th to 6th. So if the legality issue 
had been resolved in the way where legal Pokemon were the only ones that could be transferred, then you'd be seeing not much of a change to the metagame. Maybe a slight change to the metagame, but not as much now because hacked Pokemon can be transferred. So that Pokegen Terrakion you got can go into X and Y easily. I'm not saying I have a problem with that, but I'm just saying prepare for the metagame to get changed. This also means that you can transfer over six IV dittos with every nature possible to your X and Y game and breed some really strong Pokemon. So, you know, it doesn't really change much in the fact of breeding because people were breeding perfect IV Pokemon anyway. This just makes it a lot more easy. But now you're going to be seeing a ton of old legendaries running loose in the game. You're going to be seeing a ton of old Pokemon running loose in the game just doing their damn thing. But I think the most impactful thing will definitely be the legendaries because we all know you can't exactly catch a legendary with all the right things in place as much as you would like to because you only get one chance to catch them for the most part. So it'll be a very interesting change. So this is one reason why I also wanted to wait until I upload Wi-Fi battles because the metagame is now going to officially change. When the 27th of December gets here, the Pokemon game will no longer be the same. So enjoy the current metagame while it lasts because you're about to get a flush of legendary powerhouses in the game. And I'm, I, once again, I'm not saying I have a problem with legendaries, but it's an undisputable fact that people are going to want to use their legendary Pokemon who are certified as OU in the X and Y metagame. It's going to change. It's going to. Now, the questionable thing is, will the Pokemon who are used in 5th gen, even the legendary Pokemon, be able to be as viable in 6th gen or be able to do the same roles in 6th gen or will they be functioning differently thanks to all the change mechanics? Time will tell. But either way, it's going to be a whole new game and I'm very interested in it and I am very glad to be bringing you the premiere of my Pokemon Wi-Fi battles at the start of this groundbreaking change. Pokemon Bank Pokemon, welcome to the 6th gen.